All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there, just like you and just like me. So uh, Jeff Pilsen says that he's going to keep politics out of his tour with Kid Rock. It's Foreigner and Kid Rock, pretty interesting show. Full disclosure, I'm not into Kid Rock. I like his politics, but I'm not into Kid Rock. Whereas I'm really into Foreigner, but apparently I'm not into their politics. So I don't know if everybody in Foreigner is in lockstep and it's let's go Brandon all the time for them, which actually is the opposite of what I just said. But you know what I'm talking about, right? So um, yeah, he says, look, and they're trying to goad, the article is trying to goad Jeff Pilsen into this discussion and good for him for just being, look, yeah, um, we're not going to be talking politics. This is about music. We're going to play them. Remember when artists used to be able to do this? Remember this, where they would disagree on politics, but yet they could work together. They could go out on the road. Now, I mean, entire countries are being canceled for not doing or saying the right thing during this conflict between the uh, Russians and the Ukrainians. It's, it's bizarre. Let's just cancel this entire country because they didn't condemn or they didn't say the right things. I mean, the cancel culture. Let's just cancel the planet. Earth is just not doing what it's supposed to, to, to do, and it doesn't belong in the solar system. Just needs to be taken out, you know, and just distanced from all the other planets. Something like that. I mean, we're getting to the point where that's going to be next. I mean, if they can figure it out. Um, of course, I'm being weird and I'm, you know, I'm sorry for that. But the article here says that uh, foreigner bassist Jeff Pilsen explained his band's approach to their upcoming tour with Kid Rock and sent a message to fans who might not attend due to Rock's political views. See how that works? So the article already tees it up, cues it up for you. Well, you know, it's disappointing that Foreigner would go out with Kid Rock and some fans might not attend. But guess what? Others might because of that. Others might go and show their patriotic love for the country, even though they might not even like Kid Rock. I don't know much about Aaron Lewis, right? But Aaron Lewis has said some normal things. To me, it's normal. To everybody else, it's bizarre. It's like he's what? He's expressing an opinion? that he doesn't like the current administration. But it's okay, though, for D. Snyder and all these other guys to blast out just nonsense like they know what they're talking about. And everybody's like, or, 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 or. you know, it's, it's just, it's getting a little bit tedious. And as you can tell, folks, it's beginning to wear on me just, just, just a little bit because this is this one-sided avalanche of noise, propaganda, and information. And on the other side, it's just like, you know, a couple of people who are opposing it, and those people are the targets. When did we become this groupthink country? Just groupthink, just let's all, should just, and we do kind of have one, I was going to say we should just have one political party. We kind of do. We kind of do. We got R's and D's, and the D's just are insane, and the R's say they're not as insane, but then they behave kind of insane. And they don't stop what the D's are doing. So people are like, okay, then, you know, you could go third party and be your little, just, you know, tiny little space there and feel good about yourself. Maybe people should do that. I don't know. But I think, you know, if you can put a coalition together to just stop the evil that's occurring, I, I think that is more important than just being a protest vote. Anyway, um, they go on here because Kid Rock is an outspoken supporter of dun 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 Donald Trump. Ah! Okay, Donald Trump lost the election last time around. <clears throat> we'll just say that. You just let it kind of float in the air. So he lost the election last time, but he got more votes than he got the previous time. In fact, he increased his vote total by more than what his advisors were saying to him prior to the election. They say, if you increase it by this much, you're going to win and you're going to win big. He did that, 
but for some reason he lost. Hmm. I wonder if the rock media, the news media, if they've ever examined that little statistic, right? Because it's kind of an important one. Anyway, so um, Kid Rock, he's an outspoken supporter of Donald Trump. And his most recent single was a curse-laden critique. So you could swear, everybody could swear as much as they want. In fact, there was one Hollywood actor that got up during some Academy Awards thing and said, F Trump. And he got a standing ovation from everybody there. It was the most brilliant thing to just get up there and say, F Trump. And the whole world was like, yes, F Trump. But Kid Rock does it and it's really bad. Plus he puts it in a song. Oh, and by the way, he's an anti-thinger. Yeah, and that you can't be against the thing. The thing is what saved humanity. Without the thing, without going to Walgreens three, four, five times, you probably wouldn't still be here. So um, his critique of that and the fact that he doesn't, see, all of these things supposedly are what you're supposed to believe about everything all the time. And that makes you an outsider and an idiot and a Neanderthal. You're just dragging your knuckles across the floor at this point. And this is how it's portrayed every day. And if you listen, for instance, to Ted Nugent for like 30 seconds, you realize he knows, he knows way more. He knows way more. Just admit it. He knows more than you about pretty much every topic. Pick a topic, maybe not sports, but who knows? Maybe Ted knows a lot about sports. I'll have to talk to him about that. I'll say, hey, are you a Red Wings fan? Are you a Lions fan? He's probably not a Detroit Lions fan. Just saying. He might be, but you never know. The point I'm trying to make here is that these people act as though if you don't hold the same enlightened views about the establishment, and this is the establishment. And yeah, do I have my problems with Trump? You bet your buttocks I do. And the reason I have problems is because you know, if you're going to drain the swamp, you don't hire the swamp to drain the swamp with. You hire people that aren't swamp creatures to do the swamp draining. That's one critique, right? And there are others, you know, Operation Warp Speed, baby. Um, it's going to be tremendous. That I can tell you. It's going to, we're going to break records. Um, yeah, suburban soccer mom types aren't into that stuff. Just doing a little political observation here. But uh, as far as foreigner touring with Kid Rock, at least Jeff Pilsen is good about this. He's just like, hey, I know you guys are, you know, you're trying to pick this apart. You know, we know Kid Rock. We know what we're getting into here. Just chill out. If fans show up, great. If they don't, other fans might show up in their place. Do you ever think of that? Yeah. So this idea that Fans aren't going to show up because of Rock's political views. Well, technically, a foreigner is opening, right? The fans can leave after foreigner. They don't have to listen to Kid Rock, so problem solved. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> that's my video. Sorry, this is Scatterbrain, just like yours truly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Patreon, a dollar a month if you want to support the channel. We're in the lean months of YouTube revenue right now. And uh, my revenue has been almost cut in half from where it was at its peak last year. So I would just appreciate if you could, you know, do a dollar a month. We can communicate. I can say hello if you've got any questions that I can uh, answer and you're not, you know, a troll. I'll be more than happy to uh, talk to you about anything pretty much. So thanks again. And uh, I'll see you soon.